In 1899, a Swiss expat by the name of Hans Max Gamper visited his uncle in Barcelona. Hans Max was on his way to Africa and planning to set up a sugar trading company. On arrival in Catalonia, however, Hans Max fell in love with the city. So much so that he decided to stay put to learn to speak fluent Catalan and to adopt a traditional Catalan name. Hans Max became Joan Gamper and he was about to write his way into the history books. Whilst a member at Gimnasio Sole and playing football locally with a host of other European expats, Joan helped to publish the magazine Los Deportes. And on the 22nd of October, 1899, he placed an advert in his own magazine, stating that he wished to start a football club. After a positive response, a meeting was held on the 29th of November that year, and a football club was born. It would go on to be one of the most successful in world football. They would become the beating heart of Catalonia, They'd sweep aside opposition in domestic and European competitions, tear up the rule books several times over, and show the world how football can and should be played. They would be the perfect foil for Madrid's establishment back football club, founded just a few short years later in 1902. Before all this, though, they'd need a kit, and Joan's teammate and tennis partner had an idea. Arthur Whitty and his brother Ernest had settled in Barcelona after spending their school days on Merseyside. Arthur had played rugby union for his alma mater, Merchant Taylors, and competitively for Waterloo FC. On arrival in Barcelona, he and his brother struggled to find facilities suitable for rugby union and made the switch to football. Arthur was one of Barcelona's first players. He represented them in the first ever Copa del Rey final and became the club's president in 1903. It was through his business ventures and loyalty to his old school, however, that Arthur and Ernest would stamp their legacy on the famous old club. Blaugrana, the Catalans call it, the eye-catching blend of deep red and blue that has adorned the backs of the greatest players to ever play the game. People will tell you that it comes from FC Basel, who Gamper had previously represented, but it was Arthur and Ernest who used their import company to ship regulation nets, whistles, balls and kit from England. The brothers' boyhood connections to Merseyside ran deep, and their passion for football and sport, born on the fields of a suburban Liverpudlian school, carried through to their return to Barcelona as young adults. Long before Barcelona and Liverpool meeting on a football pitch was a realistic proposition, the Witties were building bridges between the two iconic ports. As the school song goes, Merchant Taylors has for 400 years stood on the stream of trade with North, South, East and West, and it was this global outlook that reflected the port of Liverpool in its prime and which sowed the seeds of one of the world's most important and successful clubs. Their role in the foundation of the Catalonian Football Club cannot be understated, and they made sure a little piece of Merseyside was ingrained in the culture of the club forever. They chose the colours their new team would play in, Blaugrana, Red, Blue, the colours they had both played rugby in at Merchant Taylors Boys School the most famous colours in world football, born on Merseyside.